All right, hey everybody, not nuts here again. We're gonna be doing a new project this week and another giveaway. <clears throat> Actually, the first giveaway, which I'm gonna give away the projects I made last week. This key fob and this key fob with LED light on it. Ooh, how cool! Wow. Okay, and so I already did the drawing from the uh, subscribers to my channel already, and it's a full igloo. Yay! The lucky winner, a full igloo. So either. Uh, Send me a inbox message, or I'll send you one, and uh, we'll find out where you want that to go to, and I'll send that to you for free anywhere in the continental United States. We're going to be doing today a paracord cross project, building off of what we learned last week. We'll get started here shortly. Uh, I just wanted to go over again briefly about the contest. So whatever we make today be given away again uh, next weekend and we'll also be giving away this week's project if the uh, a full igloo does not claim his prize we'll give that away I'll try to give it away next weekend so uh, if you want to uh, be a part of the free giveaway all you have to do is subscribe to my channel just click that button right up there subscribe 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 Okay, everybody, we're back here at the work table. Uh, we won't need much in the way of uh, supplies to get this project going. All you'll need is a lighter, uh, optional uh, thread snips, a piece of thread, and uh, a needle, and a pair of scissors or a knife or something to cut the paracord with. <coughs> uh, first, we'll be doing a paracord cross with the square key fob type knot that we did last week but without the crown knot at the end you can tell that this is just your regular uh, square knot and you'll need two of those each with seven knots tied in it and then I'm going to be doing a, uh, a round key fob this one is going to be what's called a flat knot and it's called a flat knot because I have taken the strands the inner strands out of the middle and I've got a little scrap piece that I'm going to show you how to take the inner cores out of uh, your your paracord so that you only have a uh, outer shell left to tie knots with. It makes a smaller and more compact knot and it just gives it a different appearance. It's just a different way to do things. Okay, um, so to get started with this I just wanted to um, show you how you can tell if you tied, it, if you tied this uh, key fob knot a few times you can tell how many knots you've tied in it by counting the bumps on one side I could either go the black side or the green side it doesn't matter but here's one two three four five six seven so I've tied seven knots in each one of these I started off with a six foot chunk of paracord of green and black and I cut those in half so that I had uh, enough for two and so now what we're going to do is we're going to splice these guys together now how you splice them together has a big impact on what the project will look like when it's finished you can push these guys together like this so that it's all black on one side or you can mix it up so that it's green and black showing I'm going to do it so that hopefully when I'm done <laughs> that uh, this will be all black on one side these here, by the way, are going to be the arms of the cross. So once you smash these guys together, you'll see that you've got four cords that are coming out of the top of this project, and then four cords that are coming out of the bottom. So what you need to do is just start your regular walnut here, uh, and pretend like this is one cord here, and this is another cord here, even though they're different cords for different projects. So just fold it over and then one goes over and through just like on your regular wall knot and then the other side goes over and through just like your regular wall knot and this first one it's really tough to get it just perfect so don't try and get it perfect just get it as snug as you can comfortably get it kinda gotta work the knot and hold it at the, all at the same time and it's a little tough don't uh, it may take you a few tries to get it just right but don't worry about it and then just keep going so fold it over and over 
and then over and then through and pull it snug and then over and through again for your second wall knot on this side here and now pull this this one here is just as tight as you can get it and it will help to tighten the knot that's underneath it just pull it really really tight tighter than you normally would okay alright and then just keep it so that it's kind of even and then continue tying your okay guys I've uh, tied the top part of the cross here and it's just another wall knot with five uh, wall knots and then a crown knot on top I'm not going to show you how I did that because I showed you how to do that in last week's video which we're building off of today so we've got the two arms and then the top of the cross with topping that one off with the crown knot and now I, what I do want to show you is the bottom because we haven't done really the splicing before although it is just a simple wall knot once you get the hang of the splicing that's really the only trick there is to tying this uh, these key fobs or walnuts into a crown, a nice crown project. So, uh, just like we did on the other side, pretend like these two green cords are one cord and these two black cords are one solid cord and that they're not separated. So, just start with either green or black, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start with green. Flip each one of them over and then just like every other walnut, just over under. Kind of got to untwist them and get everything just right sometimes and then over and through and then just tie that fairly loosely this one should be a little bit easier to tie than the first one because you don't have to hold it as closely as you did before okay so then get ready and just tie another one over the top of it just like you did on the project before and then over and through just like a regular walnut and then over and through just like a regular walnut and then tie this one and come off with it really tight tie it really really tight and that'll help to pull the knot square with the rest of the project and it'll also help tighten the knot that we just tied underneath it that's not so loose okay so that's how you get it started I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna fi finish this off with 10 more uh, 10 walnuts total and then a crown knot on the bottom and then I'll sew these ends together and then uh, my crown is or my cross is pretty much done and then we'll get a, uh, started on the uh, the round cross knot project here okay everybody welcome back again here's the finish of the uh, paracord the square paracord cross project this is the top of the cross and the bottom of the cross these will look more even once uh, if, if you I'm gonna leave this the way it is and give it to the to the winner just so that they can finish it how they want to finish it I did not sew the ends down here or here like I did on the top of the crown knot on last week's projects that's just so that the person that wins this if they want to modify it or do something with it um, there's some some cord here to work with if they want to like cut these back two off and then and then melt these two together and then put it on a keychain right here whatever they want to do they can do all right so this one's finished and will be given away on the December 2nd next weekend project okay so this is the instructional part on how to tie the pier cord cross using the flat knot which I mean by that has the strands removed from the the <clears throat> middle of the paracord and it's going to be the circular or the round wall knot uh, two of them spliced together to form a cross pattern this uh, first one here is tied with seven crown knots and you can tell by pick, pick one of your color I've got tan and uh, ACU here and I've got one two three four five six seven of those I can tell and this one is 13 and this one I've done the one before I tied the arms of the cross like I started with the arms of the cross this one I started with the top and the bottom of the cross okay so um, to splice these bad boys together all you do is push them together 
until you get one that comes out right and by right all you have to do is have four strings two that come out of the side and two the other side now for the purposes of this demonstration imagine that the two gray cords are one one solid cord and the ACU cord, color cord is also one solid cord and you just flip over one color it doesn't matter which one you start with then this guy goes over and under or over and through however you want to say it and then this guy goes over and then through and then you want to tighten this up as good as you can get it it's not going to be able to probably come out real tight but get it just as close as you can it's kind of tricky holding on to this and then getting it tight uh, the first time you almost need an extra set of hands and then tie the same knot again once you've got it as tight as you can get it over the top of that tie another wall knot here <laughs> and this one just like on the square one pull the second one from the splice as tight as you can get it okay all right so then I'm going to tie uh, five more wall knots and a crown knot here to finish this off and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so stay tuned and I'll show you when that's done okay everybody I've finished this round flat uh, wall knot cross paracord cross project uh, I've did 13 on the top, seven. I'm sorry, 13 on the bottom, seven knots on the top, and then I said I was going to do seven here, but I didn't. I ended up doing seven and then tying the crown knot, and the arms looked too long, so I only tied five wall knots and then a crown knot to finish it off. And I'm gonna, I am gonna sew this down and then cut the ends off, and I'll show it to you again. But I just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like when the cords come out of the come out of the arms of the cross whereas when we did this one they're coming out of the top and the bottom so for next week's project if you want to be one step ahead of the game do a do a flat boxed wall knot with the uh, cross project with the cords coming out of the side do your little crown knot here and then the and then the uh, the cords coming out of the side and then you'll be all ready for next week's project Okay guys, I'm back. I uh, sewed down and then cut this end off and then melted it. And I just wanted to show you the process because I've never shown it before on melting, cutting these cords off and melting them down. I personally don't like that because it does leave a big kind of an ugly glob of melted paracord on the top or bottom ends or wherever your, your cords projects end up at. But I wanted to show it to you anyway, so I've already sewed this side down, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I'm really into these new shears, by the way. These are uh, like a paramedic shears or whatever, and they are really great for cutting through lots of paracord or lots of just about anything. They'll cut through metal, in fact. So I'm cutting it here so that there's only about maybe a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch of paracord sticking out of the top of that crown knot, and then just snip it off trim it up a little bit if you want to okay then you really got to burn the heck out of the end of this guy right here to get him melted down properly but melt them and melt them and melt them and melt them and don't stop melting them until all the four of those cords that came out of the top of that crown knot have uh, melted together into a big black blob Okay, that's pretty good and then immediately start pressing it down with something you're kind of and rounding it off the end there I just use my lighter some people might not think that's a real smart idea you might want to be safer and use something else but then there's what your end looks like so now there's the completed paracord cross the round flat knot one compared to the other one uh, that we did first 
that still has the cords coming out of the top and the bottom to this one's semi-finished. I'm just going to leave it the way it is so if they want to do something with it they can. These are going to be given away in next week's uh, video so tune in for that the weekend of December 7th.